Hi, my name is Martin Zwielberg and this is the first part of a review of the Art of Electronics, 3rd edition. Um, in this part I will talk about the first four chapters, uh, foundations, uh, bipolar transistors, field effect transistors and operational amplifiers. Uh, by the way, uh, Winfield Hill, one of the authors of the book, has provided one uh, free sample where you uh, don't only get uh, not only get the uh, uh, table of contents, uh, but also the whole uh, chapter nine. Uh, I have on my website uh, wisewartok.com. Uh, uh, I have provided the link to this and some uh, other stuff stuff that might be interesting uh, connection with the book. Um, so the most important thing about the book is uh, this is the greatest book uh, on electronics ever. Uh, it is not suitable for everyone, uh, but if you are really committed uh, to learning uh, electronics, uh, then just get the fucking book. Uh, for the beginner, uh, it, it might uh, be beneficial uh, if he reads it uh, in connection with uh, another book, maybe. Uh, just reading it alone might, might be a little bit difficult. If uh, we look at uh, chapter one, I mean, the first explanations, uh, they sound quite good. Uh, definitions, uh, voltage, uh, resistors, uh, some practical hints uh, how resistors really look like. Um, that's quite, quite nice, uh, serious parallel uh, calculations, um, yeah, voltage dividers, um, yeah, here equivalent circuits, uh, quite good explanations, but then suddenly uh, they switch to uh, signal dials, yeah, and then on the next page uh, even a circuit with comparators. Um, I think it's, it might be a little bit too, uh, too fast for, for the beginner, yeah? Maybe when reading, reading another book uh, and uh, coming back to this one uh, and looking if you uh, like the explanations, uh, might work better. Um, by the way, uh, one of the authors, um, Horowitz, together with another guy, Hayes, uh, is uh, just now writing on another book, uh, Companion. Uh, if you will, uh, learning the art of electronics uh, and sh should be released uh, uh, this year. This might be very interesting for the beginner. Um, yeah, let's uh, skip forward to the uh, second chapter about bipolar transistors. Uh, this one I uh, really like a lot. Uh, you know, there might be easier introductions to transistors, but uh, the combination of Good explanations and uh, really uh, good technical content, yeah, uh, enabling uh, you to really uh, uh, build circuits that work. Uh, this is, I think, this is a really strength of uh, of this one. Uh, won't find it anywhere else. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, you might find it um, familiar from the second edition. Uh, by the way, sorry for the shitty resolution, but uh, I, I don't want you to really uh, read the book uh, on this video. I know I do uh, quite a lot of flipping pages and you know, uh, copyright and shit. Um, okay, this is really great here, Transistor Man. You know, I think deep in its heart, uh, the book knows that it started uh, as a textbook, or it was intended to be a textbook. Uh, many, many years ago by, by one of the authors. I mean, today it's mostly yeah, for engineers, uh, but at the, if you look at this stuff, it's really, it doesn't get any better explanation. You know, this guy looking at the base current, multiplying it by beta, and uh, then uh, adjusting the collector current accordingly. Yeah? I mean, it's, it's a really nice explanation. Um, it's uh, not, uh, not perfect from the, uh, when viewed from the technical side, uh, I mean, you can build circuits with this, and they uh, show you some here. Uh, but later they uh, switch to um, the more sophisticated uh, equation. You know, uh, Eva Small with the exponential stuff here. And uh, then they show, uh, show you how to uh, build really, uh, really great circuits uh, using this. Yeah, 
in Ebers model they don't have uh, a H parameter model or shit. Ebers model they really say it is sufficient and uh, you can you can use it to re build uh, really great circuits. Yeah. Um, yeah, they have some some port level uh, switchable. But I think in feedback, yeah, introduction to feedback, yeah, that's that's quite important too. I think, uh, yeah, this from uh, Harold Black here, uh, from the patterns here, uh, yeah, really classic. Yeah, so I, I really like this uh, chapter on, on transistors very much. Um, if you look at the end of the chapter, you will, uh, if you uh, if you know the second. Second edition, uh, you will know, uh, find this review, this new stuff here, uh, review of the complete chapter, it's quite nice. Uh, one thing that uh, you will probably not like, is, uh, if you're like me, is uh, that the circuit ideas and bad chapters have disappeared. I uh, really hate this. I mean, uh, bad chapters was so nice, it was uh, 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 bad circuits uh, where you uh, could it circuits where the author had uh, built in some error and you had to find what was wrong, wrong with it. It was great fun and also very instructional. It's a, it's a shame it's not anymore. I think it's, they said on on, uh, on the book's website it will reappear. Mm, haven't seen it much there yet, but probably in the future. Um, by the way, there is some other stuff. I'll just do some flipping of the pages while I talk. Um, there is some other stuff that has uh, disappeared or um, is not uh, is not present uh, in, in in the book as it uh, is. Uh, the authors have moved some advanced constant uh, advanced content uh, into a forthcoming book, which uh, will be called the X chapters. Yeah, and every now and then you see in the uh, when reading uh, the text you see some references to this and say, oh, yeah. This topic will be further explored in chapter uh, three point uh, X. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it should. Uh, I mean, yeah. <coughs> but on the other hand, if they hadn't done this, uh, there is no way that they could have still uh, finished the book in two thousand fifteen. Yeah, and so I think it's better to have the book uh, now and. Um, have to uh, wait a few years for this X chapters, and also the stuff that they have in the book right now. It's uh, it's 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 it's, uh, it's uh, fucking awesome. I mean, uh, it's 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 greatly expanded from the second edition, and uh, of course outdated, uh, updated. Sorry, um, really like it, and will be even better when the uh, when when there's uh, some additional stuff uh, uh, from the X chapters. Okay, now let's go to the. Uh, a chapter that I like best uh, of, of, of the four of this, uh, yeah, if you wish, basic uh, um, uh, chapters about uh, the fundamental components, and this is uh, the operational amplifier. Um, I think this chapter might even uh, be very useful as an entry point uh, for the beginner. I mean, not the absolute beginner. As I said, the first uh, chapter about foundations a little bit difficult to form, maybe. But if you have learned the uh, the real basic stuff, maybe from another book, uh, stuff like Ohm's law, uh, KVL, KCL, uh, so that you can analyze the basic circuits. Yeah? If you have have learned this, uh, then uh, then the authors uh, tell you about the golden rules here. Yeah? Uh, output attempts to do whatever is necessary to make the voltage difference between the input zero, that is, you can assume for your analysis input, uh, both, uh, um, both inputs are on the same potential, uh, and second rule, the input draws no current. Yeah? You remember this golden rules for the ideal op amp, uh, and you can yeah, build real circuits. I mean, not the most uh, sophisticated one, uh, but uh, circuits with op-amp uh, that, that really work. By the way, this is a good old friend here from the second edition, LF411. Uh, like already 25 years ago, they used this as a, a jelly bean op-amp. Yeah, great little uh, op-amp here. Um, yeah, as uh, I said, 
just with those golden rules you can analyze and build some yeah nice circuits here that I show you. Uh, Okay, most of the, for, for this one you must have to know a bi bipolar and, and, and it fits, but there's also a lot of uh, circuits only containing operational amplifiers that you can analyze. Um, okay, if you build, if you want to build more sophisticated circuits, then at one time uh, you have to be aware of the details of, of, of real operational amplifiers. By the way, here's the schematic of the uh, LF400 ELF, uh, simplified schematic. Um, the departure from ideal op and performance, if you really want to understand this, you have to go back and look at the, uh, at, uh, at the um, transistors, yeah, both uh, bipolar and, and, and field effect transistors. Uh, and uh, then you can understand what they tell you about the different stuff here, input, offset, offset, voltage drift, input, offset, current, uh, etc. And if you have understand this, you can rebuild uh, uh, really great circuits. Yeah, just do some do some flipping here. Of course, it's it's a little bit uh, more more difficult than uh, if you're a beginner. Maybe stick to the uh, stick to the uh, uh, ideal op amp, and that's it's really um, nice to analyze. Uh, single supply op amps very important. Uh, yeah, lots, lots of table here. Shitload of tables. That's that's, uh, that's one thing what, what the book is famous for. Um, yeah, great, great circuit. Here. I think this uh, that DC amplifier was I'm not sure it was in the second edition. Anyway, there's lots of, of, of great material here. Of course, one very important thing is uh, uh, feedback here. Really has to understand this. It's a little bit complicated, but yeah, it's it's really important. It's a little bit strange here, they have the phase going from 0 to minus 90, it goes upwards here, what I've expected at the other direction, yeah, but a um, little strange, but I uh, have to get used to asking the other text, it's, it's different. Anyway, I really love this, this chapter here on uh, operational amplifiers, uh, it's, uh, I think it's a good entry point for um, uh, for beginners, if you for a moment just uh, ignore the uh, the, the real uh, uh, real op amps with their uh, parameters and just try to analyze uh, the uh, ideal op amp and build circuit with, uh, circuits with it. Really great. The review here. Yeah. So this was uh, this was it for the first chapters, uh, first four chapters. Uh, next video I'll start with uh, uh, chapter five. Uh, it's really great. This. Is, uh, much expanded, uh, this is uh, dramatically expanded from the second edition, that's, that's really great. Um, yeah, thank you uh, for watching this so far and uh, hope to see you again in the next video. Bye bye.